Hello everyone, this is Zibo and welcome to today's AFK Journey video. So in today's AFK Journey video, we are going to talk about the latest unit, Wow Chow Koka. So this video is a first impression slash gameplay showcase for this unit. And uh, personally, I didn't focus too much on this unit because uh, this unit is quite arena centric based on her kit and I'm quite swamped in terms of unit development for like my arena teams already so i can't really devote additional resources for her but luckily for us we do have a guy who is able to max her up really quickly supreme plus ex15 coca so later on i'm going to showcase a gameplay with her and in today's video i'm going to run through her kit talk about what's her position in the current game give my first impression how she will function and then do the gameplay showcase so without further ado let's start today's video let's go Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at her skill kit. Her first skill, Full Energy, inspires herself and all allies and grant them a 45% damage reduction for 12 seconds. The reduced damage will be recorded and settled once as true damage once the skill duration ends. When the skill takes effect, allies gain 30 life drain, 10% attack, and the effect cannot be dispelled and prevents Koko from recasting the skill. So it has a 0% cooldown, meaning once she gets Full Energy, she's able to use this Full Energy skill. So further leveling up this skill increases the damage reduction numbers to 55% and 40 life drain at max level. So uh, this uh, damage recording part will actually work hand in hand with her EX weapon over here. Uh, fluffy shield after the damage recorded in full energy has been settled, all allies gains a shield for 7 seconds that can absorb damage equal to 15% of the total damage dealt by allies affected by full energy when it's active. So the more damage you deal, the more shield you can uh, generate for your team to absorb the damage more sustained for your team so further increase in level increases the shield value and removes all ally control effect when casting full energy oh this is really really good because it's very good against anti-control teams such as the current very popular caroline iron team or even future control teams like against control skills like Aden, against control skills like Skalita, they're all very meta arena units. So this is amazing. And furthermore, you gain 30 resilience. So for those of you guys who do not know resilience, right? Resilience actually decreases, right? The duration of debuff. Basically, her EX skill increases your team's uh resistance against cc against control effects so overall just off the ultimate as well as the ex weapon fluffy shield alone like koka is a really really amazing mauler unit for arena it basically makes up for what mauler lack in arena because right now there's actually a team called the mauler rush team so we have seth we have shakir we have uh and Ant tendra right a really good i'll say frontal hyper offense type of units but they lack sustain like if they don't kill the enemies fast enough, they are basically dead, right? But Koka makes up for it because Koka gives damage reduction, life drain as well as attack. So they can recover HP, right? They gain more damage and they can survive through the barrages of the enemy's attack. So obviously some people might comment that full energy is only good if you're able to use it. So what Koka does with her skill is that the second skill, uh, Fulfilling Feast, feeds the weakest ally healing them by 30% to 230% HP of her attack and granting them 10% attack for 5 seconds. Coco also feeds Pato to recover HP every 15 seconds and increases composure. So uh, this, this heal, right? basically targets heal the weakest ally and it goes on every 10 seconds and she also keeps herself healthy by using this skill so you're healing two units effectively with this skill and pato smash third skill throws a mighty spear at the target dealing damage and increases damage taken by 10 percent in the next five seconds if an enemy within her adjacent tower pato will smash the ground dealing damage to adjacent enemies and stunning them for three seconds so for the increase in the level increases damage so this skill acts as a form of debuff so as you guys can see koka has heal sustain has shielding right has healing to ensure that you're able to reach your ultimate and then she has a disable so for her hero focus increases haste by 20 during battle which allows her to use her skills even faster slightly cycle through faster and then the supreme plus skill increases ally or pato's vitality by 25 for six seconds after coco feeds them using fulfilling feeds so increased vitality increases uh life steal numbers increases heal numbers which makes your ally who is buffed by the fulfilling feast 
a bit more tanky, right? So overall, Kuka is a very defensive unit and her job is to keep your team alive, provide a little bit of buff for your whole team, provide a little bit of debuff on the enemy, as well as also uh, making your team stronger as a whole because uh, the attack buff, the life drain buff, the attack buff from the fulfilling feast overall makes her a really good utility unit as well. So utility, sustain, heal, control, Koka has it all. But the issue with Koka right now, I think in terms of uh, Dream Realm, I think she's definitely usable to keep your team healthy while providing the buff. But the Dream Realm team setups are very stacked up right now. So Koka, I feel that don't have a slot there because uh, Smokey is a really good Mauler support in Dream Realm. And I think the utility and heals that uh, Smokey can provide for a team is already insane. So Koka is quite awkward in that spot in terms of the Dream Realm. Like she's definitely usable, but I think in most cases, Smokey, which is the other healer in the Mola faction, is the better support. And usually you don't need two healers in the team. And yes, she does provide uh, quite a good, I'll say like a uh, third skill, right? Which increases damage taken by the boss for 10 seconds. But it's not a long-term thing and it has a pretty long, I'll say, downtime because this debuff only lasts 5 seconds and this skill is 15 seconds cooldown. So as a whole, Koka is more defensive by nature. Definitely not used in the offensive manner. So Dream Realm, definitely usable for her general survivability kit for your team. But overall, I think uh, she's much better off in Arena. So that's uh, the initial impression for her. And next, let's move on to the Arena portion. Let's go. Okay, so here I have a few better records with Koka. But I'm just gonna showcase maybe like uh, two battles to just briefly talk about a kit because I think personally my friend over here is quite heavily stated and uh, in most cases even if he's not using Koka he won't be able to win me but without further ado let's dive into her kit. So over here at the start of the battle, Iron's going to use her skill. Koka's going to run up. Her attack range is only 4, not the longest, but in terms of the rest of the molar faction, right, I think it's more than sufficient in terms of uh, keeping herself safe from all the torrent bullshit as well as the melee bullshit. So she's quite strong, right? She uses this fisting, which heals Vala over here, and then she uses the ultimate, as you guys can see. So there's an emblem on top of all your units, and uh, your units get uh, life drain, Right, gets damage reduction as well as an attack buff. So the attack buff is pretty minor. The major things are actually your life drain as well as damage reduction, which means that if your team is in a half full state, right, if a half HP state, when Koka activates this skill, your team is basically able to keep itself healthy. Like that's just how good uh, this skill is defensively. And it's sort of like a counter to my team right now in a sense because uh, I'm also running a full heal team. But I think Koka's ability her ultimate is way stronger in terms of sustaining because i think damage reduction is massive especially when it's 55 percent like it's it's crazy huge so it is possibly a good improvement to my current team in terms of sustain we shall we shall keep a look out so let's see whether or not he's running a second a different team in a different setup yeah i think he's running the same com i yeah it's not that big like let's just do one more time so you guys can see again what she does pretty i'll say like pretty straightforward just a very defensive unit and i think she makes up for the mauler weakness in a lot of sense because right now mauler teams they are not weak they are very strong offensively but maulers they lack uh sustain like i mentioned earlier so this unit is probably gonna cover up the weakness of mauler and probably start to see some use against uh, certain control teams right now because her ability to increase composure reducing debuff duration as well as the ability to gain a control immunity is just really really good in the late game like there's just a lot of units with control in the late game at least in the arena setting so her ability to remove all control effect is just crazy right when the skill takes effect right like you also gain resilience so you you can actually debuff soon after but the thing is like you are going to shorten the duration of the debuff so very very good against control and i think in the future if you do get like bosses or mechanics which requires you to have both uh, control debuff immunity or control debuff resilience as well as sustain then kuka is going to be an amazing unit in fact i think she's going to be really really powerful against the lone wolf boss like lone wolf is insanely high damage so 55 percent damage reduction is gonna do a lot to keep your team healthy while also right 
buffing attack. So you are not losing too much in terms of offense with this unit. Like she is very defensive by nature, but she offers a little bit of offense with the 10% attack as well as the 10% attack buff from this fisting buff. So if you go on your carry unit, in the event where she used her skill both on the same carry unit, then you're gaining 20% attack, which is still, I'll say, quite good. And on top of the debuff that she can provide for the team, right? Overall, I think she's a really, really good supportive unit if you do not have units such as, uh, I'll say, uh, Smokey, in a sense. Like, she can replace him and you can also use her in Arena. So, I would say that she's slightly more versatile in terms of placement, but less efficient in Dream Realm compared to Smokey because Smokey offers way more offensive buff for your team to do more damage. And if you do not have other defensive units like Heroin or... Even Damien, I think she does a good job to replace them in that slot as well. But I think you still need time to observe how well she can does as the meta continue to evolve. So yeah, she's pretty new to the game. So in the future, I'm going to release a full hero review once we have a clearer picture of how she runs and maybe just more observation moving forward with regards to the changes to the game before global release. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more EFK journey contents from the channel. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.